Letter dated 28th of March 2011. General Secretary Oilfield Workers Trade Union, 99A Circular Road, San Fernando. Attention, Mr. Roger. Yes, sir. Petroleum Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited Current Developments. Firstly, may I express to you and the other representatives of the OWTU my appreciation and the appreciation of the entire board of directors of Petrotrin for the very comprehensive presentation made to the board on the OWTU's recommendation for the restructuring of Petrotrin together with several other matters highlighted for urgent consideration. The board was specially pleased to hear that the OWTU's commitment to future success of the company and to play in its part in the bringing about an improvement of its performance to that of a first quartile company. In this regard, I wish to assure you that the current board is fully committed to effecting a turnaround in Petrotrain's operational and financial well-being. Since being appointed to office in 2010, October, the board has been working diligently to come to terms with the company's very severe financial situation and the unprecedented cost overruns and time delays virtually on all major projects. To this end, the board has proceeded to demand of the management an improvement of level of performance and accountability across all areas of its business so as to achieve in the short term a reversal of the negative trend in its financial performance. To date, this has been achieved and I was pleased to be able to share with you the financial results for the past several months which do reflect an improved financial and operational performance. The board does recognize that this improved trend is but a very small step in a much larger challenge but importantly, this is a step in the right direction. In the course of your presentation to the board, a number of very significant issues were raised in this regard. I'm pleased to be able to provide you with some feedback in relation thereto, namely the following. One, moratorium on new hires and promotion. I am pleased to advise that the board has agreed in principle to remove the moratorium on new hires and promotions and has already proceeded to approve the first tranche of 164 new hires and promotions. Other new hires and promotions will be considered on a case-by-case -case basis while filling of vacant critical positions will also be pursued in a timely manner and in accord with the established policy and procedure. Two, the OW2 Listen this one carefully. The OWT proposal for restructuring Petrotrain. The board recognizes the need for a comprehensive reassessment of the company's operating model and is greatly appreciative of the contribution made by the OWTU towards this objective. In furtherance of this, the board will be proceeded immediately to appoint an, ap an appropriately skilled, experienced subcommittee to undertake this urgent review exercise. Listen this one. Eh? along with the assistance of our international consultant. <laughs> Investigation into the fire in the refinery. The board acknowledges that the prior to the investigation into the circumstances related to the above note fire was not satisfactory and agrees that another thorough and in-depth investigation be undertaken with the view to establish all the facts relating in relation here to, there too, sorry including the cause thereof, the actions taken, the parties responsible, if any, and the lessons to be learned. Towards this end, the board will ensure that an appropriate independent team is appointed to undertake such investigation. The above represents a small proportion of the several issues raised by the OWTU, but are nonetheless significant issues which require a timely response. I shall, however, endeavor to provide further feedback on the various other issues as they are addressed or actions taken. In concluding, I would point out that the Board of Directors is acutely aware of the fact that the business as usual approach referred to in your letter on the 7th of February is not an acceptable option and therefore looks forward to working with the OWTU
to bring about the much needed change to the organization that is demanded. If the company is to prosper and deliver to its various stakeholders and expected returns. Yours faithfully, Lindsay Gillett, Chairman of the Petroleum Company of Trinidad and Tobago, Petrotrip. Right. That is one. 